This video is going to show you how to get to ICON, which is Connecticut's research engine. It's offered to all of us residents here in Connecticut for free, well, through our taxpayer money. And it's an incredible resource, so I want to make sure that you can get here from home. First, I would go ahead and type www.icon.org in my URL box there. And then I'll get to a page that looks like this. And if you have a Connecticut Public Library card, then you would go ahead and type your library card number right in this box, and then click on Login. If you don't have one, you can simply go down here to this Try This button, and what ICON does is it looks at your computer's IP address, and if it can determine that it is in fact in Connecticut, it will go ahead and let you in. Um, there's important information, like it doesn't really work from, you know, a lot of cell phone services and so on and so forth. So the best thing is really just to get down to your public library and get your free library card because it opens um, up so many opportunities for you. But for now, I'm going to click on the Try This button to show you how that works. And if you're doing some research, you can certainly just type in um, the topic, the keyword that you're looking for out here. But I always like to tell students to instead click on one of these links based on your age. I'm going to click on the middle school link to show you a little bit around there. Um, and what opens up is this list of four columns of all these databases that we have access to here in Connecticut. And I'm working on some honeybee versus wasp research. So for this project, there's lots of different databases that I can search in, but I'm going to go to this second column here, and I'm going to search in book collection, nonfiction, middle school edition. And whenever I hover over one of these databases, it will give me important information about what kinds of resources are within that database. So I'm going to click on this book collection. I'm going to type wasps up here hit return or search and it will give me a whole bunch of hits and I can quickly from this page see which ones might be useful for my research purposes. Um, but this one says this chapter discusses the characteristics of wasps. So this is exactly the information that I need. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and click on chapter 8, wasps. And from right here I get important information. The author of this chapter is Elizabeth Lawler. The source, it comes from a book called Discover Nature Around the House. Um, and then there's something called an abstract, which is a big fancy word for a summary of what this chapter is all about. It says this chapter discusses the characteristics of wasps. Wasps are insects, uh, which tells us their bodies are divided into three sections, namely head, chest, or thorax, and abdomen. So basically it's going to be talking a lot about the characteristics of wasps, which for the assignment I'm working on, this is going to be perfect. I also like to point out to students um, tools that are available for me when I'm looking at this page here. I can print this, I can email it, save it, da da da. Um, permalink, that's important. Um, if I click on permalink, it's going to give me kind of the super secret URL or web address that I could use to get back to this citation or to this article easily or this chapter easily um, on another day. Uh, but I'm going to go up here to Cite. And once I click on that Cite button, it shows me how, to, how this chapter, this um, information would be cited in all different citation formats. But we use at Rumsey, we use MLA. So I'm just scrolling down a little bit and here it is in MLA format. So I could simply copy this and paste it into my I use EasyBib School Edition so I could paste it into my bibliography for this project and that citation for this great source would be all set and then I can start my research. So do spend some time with ICON and discover all of the incredible resources it has available for us. There's even um, something called One Click Digital, where you can download onto your devices. Um, I've got a great book right now that we're listening to. It's on my phone. Um, it's called, uh, it's Will Ha 